Hey yo people and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk more specifically about restriction damage. You probably already saw it somewhere on your account somewhere in the game something talking about restriction damage so I am going to explain how it works, how you can get it and I'll do my best to explain everything that you need to know about this. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor Eptoid. If you are a person that enjoys spending money on the game and you want to get benefits for yourself, if you recharge with Eptoid you usually get the 15% bonus on all of your recharges and sometimes even more. All you have to do is use my code DannyV1 when recharging with Eptoid and if you want full details about it, the link is in the description. Okay, let's start with the basics. Restriction or restriction damage, it can have two meanings, so I'm going to explain the most basic one. On almost every instance of the game that mentions restriction damage, it usually means super effective damage. And super effective damage is usually when the enemy is weak to at least one type of the tech that you are using, and as you can see, it's usually identified by the super damage, which is the blue damage numbers. In that example, I am testing against a crystal today, the crystal is fire type, so it's weak to water, and it's only one times weaker. Usually in Pokemon terms, when the enemy is only weak to one type of your attack, you usually say that it's two times effective. While in other situations, for example this Volcarona being bug and fire type, it's weak four times to rock, because it's two times for bug, and two times for fire, so if we use a rock move, now we achieve the golden damage. But of course there are exceptions, okay? Just because you see golden damage, that does not mean that you are doing four times damage. And this is where I talk about the next topic, which are restriction multipliers or things that increase your restriction damage. Previously, our Volcanion was only doing blue damage and now with the Resonance Shadow Mewtwo X on the team, we are now dealing gold damage and everything is thanks to his passive, which during battle all ally Pokemon deal increased 50% restriction damage. This means that Volcanion is doing 50% more damage with any attack that he uses that is super effective against the enemy. And if you are still confused about the difference between blue damage and gold damage, blue damage it's always 2x damage and gold damage it's anything above blue. Even if you only have this costume on your account for example, which increases the restriction damage to all of your Pokemon by 10%, you will start doing golden damage instead of blue damage. And of course, easy way to prove it to you is just going to my account and I can show you that I have the costume that we were talking about. And if we go over there on the crystal challenge with just one Pokemon, you can see I, I, I'm on auto, but it doesn't matter. I am doing yellow damage because I have that extra restriction from the costume. So I am doing above 2x damage. Okay, now that we understand that we can increase our restriction damage, what are the things that can increase our restriction damage? As we can see, Pokemons are one of them. For example, Overlord Shadow Mewtwo or Overlord. Overlord Tapu Fini, but Overlord Tapu Fini, it's very specific and it's only related to fairy type Pokemon, increasing the restriction to fairy type Pokemon. Your other options are ribbons. There are two ribbons specifically. One of them is Handsome Ribbon, which is an Aura Ribbon. And this ribbon not only increases the restriction damage for all of your teammates, but also has restriction damage reduction, which we will be talking in a little bit. There's also wish stars like the Dark Star from the Dark Dark Lugia Legendary Journey and also the Star of the Mountain, say over here, from Ash Pikachu Legendary Journey. One of the most common ways on the end game players is also the Cinnabar Hoho set, because on the level 80 of the Cinnabar Hoho set, I know it has some bad translations, but it says counter damage dealing plus 50% when it's below 50% HP. This counter damage dealing is basically super effective damage, aka restriction damage. There's also the Pokemon fence, I have Snorlax over here which gives me 6% extra restriction damage. And if there are other important ways that I forgot to mention, please let me know in the comments. But of course, the same way that you can increase your restriction damage, you can also reduce the restriction damage that you receive. For example, over here against Sunrays, if I use my fighting move against Shield, in this situation, because this player has restriction damage reduction, I will not do the golden damage that I was doing against the crystal and instead I will be doing 
actually white damage. And let's try once more and it's white damage. This happens because this player has so much damage restriction reduction that I'm not even doing blue damage anymore. I'm literally just doing white damage over here. <laughs> Now, Restriction Reduction, reducing the super effective damage that your Pokemons take, how can you achieve that? First of all, in that specific case that I was trying, Zamazenta itself has inbuilt Restriction Reduction, reduces 20% of the Restriction damage that it takes. On top of that, as we saw a while ago, you can use other ribbons like Handsome Ribbon, and I did not mention previously, but there's also the Gorgeous Ribbon which increases your Restriction damage, so it's the one that increases the most for the Pokemon that is holding it, but it also reduces the restriction damage that you are taking. And of course this ends up being almost the same logic where we just need to find places where we can have restriction reduction. For example, the costumes, if we go down here and we look for mellow costume, reduces by 30% the restriction damage that you take on the first three rounds. I mean, technically you are reducing the enemy's restriction damage by 30% for the first three rounds, which is, well, it's kind of similar. There's also dolls, for example, like Shiny Celebi doll. In battle, you get extra res, but you also have 10% less restriction damage taken. And for example, I have this Blessed Toys, which is a Pokemon fence over here, and as you can see, restriction damage taken, minus 6%. And yeah, there's also Wish Stars, for example, just like this Illusion Star, which reduces your restriction damage taken by 25%. And as I said a while ago, there might be other ways of increasing and reducing the restriction damage of your Pokemon. I am listing the most important ways that I can remember right now, but if I am missing something important, please let me know in the comments. But before we close the video, I just want to talk about another type of restriction. There are some Pokemons that if you go and take a look at their passives, if you go and take a look at their skills, they also talk about restriction over there. And for example, we can see the case of Resonance Raikou with his own ultimate. It says that it deals one times restriction damage to Electric, Grass, Dragon and Ground type Pokemon. There's also Hoopa, for example, which says on its ultimate that you deal double restrain or two times restriction. There's also Master Evolutions, same thing, two times restriction. Primal Dialga, same thing, two times restriction damage to all Pokemon except Dark. And we even have a very specific case that I will explain in a little bit. But basically, when it has this kind of description, you just need to identify this as type effectiveness. Because, for example, on Raikou's case, Electric types, Grass types, Dragon types, and Grass Ground types, for example, ground type is immune to electric, all the others are resistant to electric, and basically what this description says is that instead of making like less damage, not very effective damage because they are supposed to be resistant to it, you will deal one times damage instead, which is as if you would be using an electric move against a normal type Pokemon. In case of other Pokemon like Master Evolutions, well, same logic applies. You are inflicting two times restriction to all the Pokemon. That means that you are dealing at least two X to all of the Pokemon. And then we have a specific typing, which is the infinity type. And if we go on our element type tree, we can select infinity type and we can see that infinity type deals super effective damage or two times damage to any type possible. And that is the main reason why creator Arceus deals so much damage because he's always dealing 4x to any Pokemon that has two types. Because if we compare to Master Evolutions, inflicts two times restriction to all Pokemon. Basically, well, Creator Arceus deals two times restriction for each type of the Pokemon. Now you already understand better about restriction damage, please go shut up your friends that keep talking about their golden damage and they are always doing four times damage, which is not true. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.